Good morning, my friends. It's me again, your favorite denture wearer. I hope everybody's doing okay today. It is a beautiful day here in Salt Lake City. Um, I want to talk about a few things I've learned in my attempts to learn how to play the harmonica. First of all, something no teacher will tell you. You need something on your lips so that harmonica will slide around. Because if you don't have something on your lips, it grabs your lips and moves them side to side. That's not a good plan. So, I got me some of this stuff. Works pretty good, I think. I. You just squeeze a little tiny bit up on there and then use the little round tip to spread it around. That works pretty good. Second thing I learned is the positions you have to have your mouth in. Um, you actually have to have your mouth pretty well open. Even though you're, you're closing your lips around harmonica, you have to have your mouth, you, you can't hold your mouth like this. You won't make a note. You have to open your mouth. Wrong way, Bill. <laughs> So in order to get individual notes, I have to open my mouth and make my bottom lip go like this. So I can get an individual note. And doing the fluctuation like that, um, that's another thing that I've noticed. There's, when you open your hand, it makes the sound come out louder out of the back of the harmonica, so the person on the other end hears the, the in and out, the, the sound getting loud and then quiet. But that doesn't give you your fluctuation. What gives you your fluctuation is your tongue movement. If I can get that individual note again. Okay. Now, with all that being said, the most important thing I learned thus far is something that not a single instructor has mentioned. And that is having your mouth open, having all that movement with your tongue, your tongue going back and forth, up and down, all that different stuff to, to make those sounds, the draws, and the fluctuations and stuff. <coughs> <clears throat> having to have your mouth open, having to use your tongue to make all those different sounds and all that, that tongue movement going on in there. You have to glue in your dentures. At least for now, when you're first learning. Having all that movement makes your dentures want to move around. And then you concentrate so hard on trying to keep those dentures in place that you can't concentrate on what you're doing with the harp. So, after a week of frustration of trying to figure out why can't I seem to get that fluctuation and get that, that vibrato...
and those draws, then I realized I was spending so much time trying to keep my mouth closed like this, you know, trying to keep my mouth closed and everything that I couldn't, to keep my dentures in place that I couldn't accurately play. So, with all that being said, I guess the lesson here is that no matter whose videos you watch, no matter who good, how good of a teacher they are, no matter how well they can instruct you on things, they don't have all the information out there. In fact, I have yet to find a single instructor that plays a harmonica that wears dentures. Now, they might be out there. They might not be saying, oh, by the way, if you're going to play harmonica with dentures, or they might not be aware of the fact that other denture wearers are trying to play harmonica, uh, trying to learn harmonica, or they may just not want to advertise the fact that they're wearing dentures. Um, but the fact is, the fact remains that had I known, had I had that information to begin with, that, hey, if you wear dentures, you may want to glue them in while you're learning. Once you learn the harmonica and you get used to those tongue movements and everything else, and you can actually play it, then perhaps practice without adhesive, just like eating, right? Right? Um, I learned how to eat with adhesive, and then I slowly practiced without adhesive until I got good at eating without adhesive. I'll do the same thing with the harmonica. I'll learn while wearing adhesive, and then once I get good at it and I get used to playing it, and I know all the pentatonic scales and blues scales and jazz scales and country scales, and I and I can do all the vibratos and all the note bendings and all the all the things where you go, you know, in between deals. You know, things like that. Once I get good at all of that, th those are the days that I can take away the adhesive and start practicing playing without adhesive. But for now, I have to use adhesive if I'm going to learn how to play this properly and not throw it away because of frustration with the dentures, trying to keep them in place while learning how to do things. So the draw bends, and that's exactly what it's called, a draw bend, because you're actually drawing in air in order to bend that note. And as you can see, I'm not doing anything with my hand. It's just a draw bend. So, learning. And like I've said many, 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 many times before, if something's not working, try something else. I know that my lessons with learning how to eat without adhesive and things like that have been helpful to people uh, because I hear it all the time. I also know that I don't know everything. There's some things I just can't teach because I don't know. 
Um, for example, partials. I have no idea how to function with partials. I don't have partials. Now, some of my tips and tricks may help you, but there's a lot of things that I don't know about partials that you're better off getting that information from other people. So I hope this video helps you. Um, just to give you an idea that sometimes we don't get all the information we need and we struggle because we don't have that information. I didn't know that using adhesive on my, you know, I, di I didn't think about it. It was my fault for not thinking about it. I should have thought, you know what, maybe I ought to glue these things in so they don't move. I was too busy concentrating on trying to learn the harmonica and being frustrated with the denture, especially the bottom denture with all that tongue movement, the bottom denture lifting and moving and stuff like that. And I was so frustrated because I couldn't get the notes right that I wasn't paying attention to the dentures. Once I used adhesive, I started going, oh, you know what? I just glued them in one morning and I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna glue them in so I don't have to deal with that frustration. I was trying to play a song or trying to play some notes and I couldn't get them and I realized the bottom denture kept moving on me and that's interfering with my tongue movements because now I don't feel like I can move my tongue the way I'm supposed to because I got to hold that denture in place. So I used adhesive on my bottom denture. That was great. Then I got to where I could blow and draw the notes properly until I got to the higher notes, which are harder. You have to blow harder and draw harder on the higher notes because the reeds are smaller. You have to put more airflow to them to get them to move. Then the top denture started moving and sometimes would break down in the back because I had to blow so hard that the top denture would break down in the back. I'm blowing air under the denture and it would make it break loose. So again, fighting with the denture. Can't figure out why I can't get my notes. Glue it in. Simple little tricks, using something on your lips to make the harmonica, you know, to make your lips slick so that the harmonica slides around, keeping my mouth open further, uh, which is something else they don't teach you when you're learning how to play the harmonica. You have to have your mouth open pretty far. They'll teach you how to do lip pursing and tongue blocking, but they won't teach you how far to open your mouth. They can't. It's individual for everybody, apparently. Um... You know, so little things like that. I'm learning little things like that that make a world of difference and make things so much easier. I can now bend my notes properly. And I can get the vibrato that I need. So, just little tricks I'm learning. Using adhesive for now, to, and I loathe adhesive. Ugh. But I'm using powder adhesive simply for two reasons. Number one, powder adhesive does not make the denture any thicker, so they don't feel any different, they don't sit any different, and it, co it covers the entire denture, so there's no bare spots, there's no pressure points. And two, powder adhesive adheres better to the denture fit than cream adhesive does. I've learned that um, through my experiments with powder and cream. So those are the two reasons I'm using powder. Um, and powder cleans up easier and it's easier to get out of an evening. So I hope everybody has a fantastic day. I hope you learned something from this. I will see you in my next video. Please keep smiling, keep trying, and never give up.